Hey guys, it's Tarek with Sacramento TV. It is Super Bowl Sunday. It is almost three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm about to wrap things up here. We had a ton of CNC work to do today to get some frames out for everybody around the country who ordered. Thanks so much, guys. I always appreciate your support. Uh, and I also appreciate, I do have to say thank you to the guys that can't stop talking uh, about this stuff or they're mad at me or whatever. Guys, keep doing what you do because you may think that people are not buying from me because of your videos. In fact, they're like, I have people say, man, you know what, this guy's an actual, he's an asshat. And so when he said your frames and you're like, man, I had to check him out. So whatever you do, keep doing what you do because whether it's good or bad, it's bringing people to the site and then people are actually getting to try our stuff out and they're enjoying it and they're loving it. So thank you to the asshats who have nothing better to do than get a computer and talk crap. And thank you also to the genuinely good customers that I appreciate that um, are, are buying and supporting a family run business, okay? Remember guys, I make all these by hand. I put, I design them, I draw them up on CAD by myself. I go into the CNC, I cut them, I hand sand them, I hand finish them, I make sure they're perfect, and then I send them out, all right? Now, this particular one, the one that I got right here, this is the new, this is the new uh, Rapture uh, 5 HD and analog. So you can do HD or analog on it. This is the Rapture 4. If you remember, this is the one I came up with about a couple months ago that we got 20 minutes of flight time, and we're almost at 30. So give me about another, give me till March, and we might just have there a 30-minute video to show you guys on how we did it, okay? But this is a super light, super strong frame. This is the 5-inch version. And uh, again, just like the other ones, all of my frames come with a limited lifetime warranty. So people can talk all they want and just say this or that when they're not happy with us. But what company is going to stand behind it with a limited lifetime warranty if it's crap, right? We're not going to do that. I don't do that. I make these by hand. I take pride in them and I'm going to stand by, stand by them. So whether you like me or not, just know that when you get one of my frames, you're going to love it. Okay, I guarantee you that. All right, now let's get to this. To my buddy Angel, this is going to you, bud. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show everybody how to build this because we sent so many of the four-inch ones. This is the first five-inch, right? But we sent so many of the four-inch ones out uh, recently, and I need to put a video on it. So the four and the five are going to be built the exact same way. So let's get to it. We've got our arms here. So now, just to let you know, everything here, everything you see here, uh, the front bumper, the back bumper, the braces, the top plate, the bottom plate, three millimeter carbon fiber. Okay, arms, all arms, whether it's on the four or the five, five millimeter carbon fiber, and the bracket is five millimeter carbon fiber. Okay, we're going to move that aside. I'm going to show you how to put this together. One thing to note is all the arms are the exact same. So the front left arm and the front right arm, the back left and back, they're all the same. So you don't have to worry about having different arms. So if you have, and we send you, just so you know, I send you one extra arm and one extra of each brace with the order. So hey, if you break something, man, you're getting an extra one right there so you don't have to deal with the downtime, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to start by, uh, we're going to screw the arms into the inserts right here. And we're, to do that, we're going to use our 14 millimeter M3s, okay? So if you see this right here, we're going to go ahead. Oh, I got to put the front bumper on. Hold on. So you're going to put the arm and then let's put the bumper here. And so what you'll notice is you have five millimeter arm, three millimeter uh, uh, bottom uh, plate for the bumper and, th and the top plate or the, the, the plate here is three mil and this plate is three mil. So you've got a total of 11 millimeters of carbon fiber where you're going to make your impact. Okay. And I can tell you right now, this is, this frame is very light, but the strength right here is incredible. So you have really nothing to worry about there. It can take a brutal impact, all right? The next thing I will show you is once we get to the uh, putting in the braces here, let me just show you where we're at. But first, let me finish. Uh, let's go ahead and fasten the next. Um, screw into the insert here. Very easy to put together this frame, very easy to, to make it. Um, all right, let's do that. And then let's line this up, put this in. And the only difference between the four and the five, these are identical. The only difference is going to be the arm length and the bracket length, okay, or the brace length. So you can easily buy the, the thing and then buy extra arms for the four inch, and you can swap them out if you want. It's, it's very simple, very versatile, very modular design, and that was the whole goal behind it. Um, all right, so now we're going to do the, the rear one. So let's get the rear bumper right here. Okay. Our 16 mil M3s. One thing you'll notice if you've had the Quattro, if you've seen the Quattro, in this here, everything is M3, okay, except for the mounting areas inside, uh, which is 20 by 20 mounting areas. Um, everything else is going to be M3. So let me go ahead and put this on here. All right. Now, 
We have our braces to put on next. And you're gonna notice about these braces is a lot of companies will do this. They'll, uh, a lot of designs actually have the braces where they go from arm to arm, whether it's front or rear, whatever it may be. What I wanted to do is I wanted to set the braces different so that the impact went to the center of the frame where I could have another of, of, of around 11 millimeters of carbon fiber again, right? And, and, and not put the pressure on the additional arm. So like if you take the, if you have the brace here and you impact, so you're sending this impact down to this arm as well. And I didn't want to do that. I want to send it to the center of the frame where I know it can hold it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to use the longer brackets. The longer braces are going to go to the back. So we're going to use a 16 millimeter screw. All right, we're going to go ahead and put our standoff right there. And we're going to take the next one. 16 millimeter screw, put our standoff right here. All right, and then I'm gonna line these up with the holes here. And I'm gonna use a 10 mil right now, and I'm just gonna use a nylon, since I'm not putting a motor on this one, we're not doing a build of the actual drone itself, we're just gonna do um, a, uh, to show you how to build the frame, I'm just gonna use a nylon fastener here just to hold this in place so the brace will stay in place, all right. All right, now let's do the other braces. And then I'm gonna put a 10 mil screw again, just to hold it in place, okay? So let me get that lined up. So that just keep the, that keeps the braces there, and then what we've got is our top plate, just like that. All right. We use ten millimeter screws, ten millimeter M threes in here. So you've got three different types of screws here. You've got uh, sixteen mil M threes that go into the standoffs. You've got twelve mil M threes that go into the inserts. And then you've got 10 mil M3s that go into uh, the uh, top uh, plate into the standoffs. All right. So we're almost done. We've only got about, what, three, four screws left. I got my scale sitting over there, so I'll bring that over here in a second. And that's the last screw, guys, right there. All right? There it is right there. Super strong, no movement at all. I mean, this thing can take a beating. I mean, look at the front, just look at the front bumper right here. So you've got 11 millimeters of carbon fiber here and here. You've got 11 millimeters of carbon fiber in the back here. You've got 11 millimeters of carbon fiber on the side, this side and this side, all right? Everywhere there's a point of impact, you've got a considerable amount of carbon fiber and you've got it reinforced all the way across, all right? Not to mention the fact that when you do take a hit here, you're no longer sending it to the other arm or to the other arm this way or to the front arm. You're letting it absorb into the 11 millimeters of carbon fiber right here. And at worst case, at worst case, you're just you're just transferring it here. You may, uh, I guess, perhaps maybe break one of your braces eventually. Uh, but as far as our testing went, and this is the one that got beat, beat up and down, uh, had no breaking at all. Uh, and I'm telling you, when I flew this thing, you can look at it. It's been, it's got stuff all over it. Uh, but that's how we test them. The sucker is strong. But do I anticipate where it could break? Probably would say that if something was to break. I would say that maybe one of the braces would buckle. Uh, if, if that's the case, you get an extra brace anyway. You've got nothing to worry about. The whole point is trying to save the frame itself. So now let's grab the, um, let's grab the uh, scale here. Uh, you know what? Hold on a second. Let me see. I've got, well, 
let's just see where we're at. Hold on. So we've got 110 grams on this frame, okay? Um, and so, and we can tell you that on the four inch built with everything, uh, we have a total of 224 fully assembled. So, uh, and I believe the four inch is online. Uh, and let me just go ahead and move this over to here. And I'm gonna tear this out, I'll see it real quickly. Yep, 110 grams, 110.80 uh, grams, all right? And there you go right there. And let me make it to where you can see that. 110.83, fine, it's gonna fluctuate just a little bit. But anyways, this is the frame, guys. This is an excellent frame. Uh, it can definitely take an impact. Here's what it looks like built, but this is the four inch version. Uh, that's the five inch version right there. I am gonna do a live video on building this one. It's a superb frame, you'll find it on our website. And don't forget guys, this frame is gonna come with a, it does come with our limited lifetime warranty, just like all the other frames that I make now. Uh, and, uh, and you can check it out. And if you have any questions, let me know. And look guys, I'll, I'll tell you like this. If you buy this frame, right? If you buy my frames, you fly it. Now don't, don't wreck it, don't, because I'm not gonna do this deal with you. But I will, do, I will do something, I will go an extra mile for you on this one. If you buy one of my frames, you fly it, you video it, and you don't like it, you're like, man, you know what? I just don't like it. Send it back to me. I'll take the money you spent on the frame, put it back on your account, and you can buy another frame. Or you can use it to buy something else. I'm not gonna force you. I want you to feel my frame. I want you to have this in your hands. I want you to try to bend it, try to break it. When you see how well it's built, when you see how strong it is, you'll love it, I guarantee you. But I will give you a chance to fly it. Now, if you wreck it and you smash it, sorry, I'm not gonna deal with that at that point. So just take it for a nice flight to see if you like it. But if you take it and you don't like it and you think, you know what, it's just not for me, no fear, man. Send it back to me and I'll take that money and I'll credit your account and you can buy a different frame that I make. You can buy anything from my store that you want, all right? That's awesome. So I'll give you that. I'll give you that. You can read all about that. I'll put all the information on the website. Under each frame, I'm going to put a warranty and try, uh, you know, test runs and all that kind of stuff so you can see that I'm not going to just... I'm not here, some guy here just trying to sell you stuff. I make these frames and I take pride in these frames and I want you to enjoy them as much as I do, all right? So I hope that helps, guys. Just check it out. Uh, if you have any questions, you can hit me up. Please also subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're gonna see a lot more cool things coming from frames because now we're running the three CNC's nonstop. I've got about 300 sheets of carbon fiber in there. We're gonna be making some awesome stuff. So I hope you I hope you hang around for that. And then as always, please feel free to check out our groups page on um, uh, Facebook right there. I think that's what it is right there. Uh, all right, now it is Super Bowl Sunday and it is time for me to get going. I got some builds to do. Angel, this is yours, man. I hope you love this one as much as you love the Quattro. Uh, and for everybody else, guys, look. Let me just say this, okay? I get that there are people out there that they have nothing better to do than trash what I do, right? Because they're just ignorant fools. Let's just be honest. You don't have to like me, all right? And, and, and I'll give you an example. When it, in 2018, when TBS, when we quit carrying TBS because we had a disagreement on something, right? The one thing you never heard me do was talk crap about their product. Because even if I didn't like the company or didn't agree with them, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, um, what is it called? Uh, I didn't go back on my word when I said I love the TBS product, I think it's a great product. I didn't come back and say, oh, just because we don't get along with them now, their product sucks. On the contrary, I still carry it and I still hook people up with it and I still think it's a great product. The difference is, is th th there's, a, there's a level there of respect that you have for a product, right? Whether you like the owner or not, and no, most people don't like me, I get it. I don't care. I'm not here to be liked by everybody. I'm here to make a product that lasts. And what bothers me is when people, they, they, their, their own integrity, right? They, they put up, go find these guys, these little douchebags that are out there like, oh man, he has a crap, I own one guy, he swapped it for another drain, said, this is crap carbon fiber. That guy's an ignorant fool. He has no idea what it means to have quality carbon fiber or crap carbon fiber. And until he was mad at me, it was the best frame he ever flew. That goes for a lot of these guys that when they couldn't get from me anymore or they just had a disagreement with me, all of a sudden, my frames aren't good enough. All of a sudden, well, piss on that because that's your integrity. How do you go from saying something's awesome to something's not just because you don't like the guy who makes it anymore? That's you. That's not a quality of my product. That's the quality, that's the, the, the poor quality of your mind and your integrity. It's the poor childish mentality, right? I don't have to like you. But if you make a good product, I'm still gonna say you make a good product. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna fib it just to hurt you somehow. You guys are worthless, the ones that do that. You're pathetic and you ruin this hobby for people because you give them the wrong advice. So I'm coming back and I'm saying, I'm standing behind it. Limited lifetime warranty, try it. You don't like it, send it back. Show me somebody that's doing that, all right? Somebody who makes it by hand like I do, takes pride in it, all right? That's how I stand behind my product. So these little peons and fleas, piss off. You have no reason to be here anymore. You're just a flea and a burden on this hobby, all right? The people that are honest, 
the people that actually talk truth about product that don't just jump ship when somebody gives them something for free. Guys, I got your back. I stand behind my product 110%, and I'll be damned if anybody wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me and tell me otherwise, okay? God bless, guys. Be safe. Go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, so go make the most of it. I'm going to see my boys today, and we're going to watch the Super Bowl. See you all later. Peace.